Hello everyone, welcome. This is Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio, episode 477. Today, I'm asking for your help. If you're new to the show, this is going to be a weird episode for you to come in on. I'm actually going to suggest that you check out some other stuff that we've got going on. Because, well, this is not a typical episode. I'm going to skip most of the intro stuff. Just let you know, you can find everything we do at whistlekick.com and everything for this show at whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. Now here's what's going on. If you're listening, I should let you know that there is a video of this episode. It's an actual video, and I've got my mic on, and I've got, I'm sitting next to a plant, uh, and I'm coming to you from my bedroom. I needed to find a different spot to record this episode. I needed something where I wasn't going to move around, uh, you might be able to hear in my voice, you might be able to tell just from what's going on that um, I'm a little bit emotional right now because I'm doing something that I'm not very good at. I'm asking for help. Now, over the last few years at Whistlekick, I've gotten better about asking for help both in and outside of the business. And usually people have come through. And that's why I thought I would try this. I've been telling myself to do this for at least months, if not years. And now it's time. I'm having a really hard time keeping eye contact with the camera. Uh, that's not something I'm great at, uh, especially when I'm uncomfortable and I'm uncomfortable. So let me just get to it. I have come to the realization that Whistlekick will not grow without help. And I don't mean small help. I mean big help. Now, let me start by saying what this does not mean, because longtime listeners might be freaking out right now. I'm not stopping anything. I'm not closing anything down. Whistlekick is not going anywhere. The show is not going anywhere. Nothing is ending. What I'm doing is I am putting out to the universe my desire for help growing this company. I think the easiest way to think about it would be a partner. I need money and I need time. I'm doing everything I can to be efficient. And when I take a look at what's going on time wise, I'm really proud of what I'm accomplishing and what I have accomplished. And this is probably a good point for me to take a small detour and say, by no means do I pretend that everything that has gone on with Whistlekick has been entirely of my doing. There are a wonderful group of people behind our efforts, some of whom are paid, some of whom are not, and I wouldn't be able to get all this stuff done without them. The place that we're at right now We've accomplished a lot. There are amazing things happening in terms of both the content that we produce and the products. When we roll out a new product, it takes forever to catch on and do well because that's the way manufacturing works. We're dealing with Amazon, we're dealing with our own website, and we're dealing with limited funds. When you have limited funds, you can't order as many, which means the cost per unit is higher, which means it becomes harder to make a profit, which makes it harder to do promotion. And it's tough. If I take a look at the foam sparring gear, the first product we made, the thing that we made before we even had a website, it's doing really well. There is so much pent up demand that it drives me insane because we can't afford to order the quantities that we need. By the same token, this is 2020. We need more video. What's the hardest thing about video versus audio? It requires more work. It's about, I would say it's 10 times more work to do video than audio, because you've got to set it up, you've got to shoot it, you've got to edit it, and all of those things take a lot more work. It's harder to do personally. I mean, you, you've probably noticed I've already looked down at the recorder, here, the audio recorder, because I'm trying to get better quality audio for this than simply the recording on the phone does. And I don't want us to stagnate. And that's really where this comes from. Will Whistlekick continue to grow? Yes. But it's growing very slowly. Some of you who pay attention to what's going on behind the scenes, maybe you watch First Cup, you know that. Whistlekick is not my only endeavor. Why did I start doing other things? Because Whistlekick ran out of enough money to fund 
me. And to be honest, that was never really whistle kicks money because I put it in. Uh, but to say it another way, I have to eat. I have to pay taxes. I have to pay my car insurance. And that costs money. And whistle kick is not at the point yet where we can afford to do that. So I've gone out and done the thing that I do really well, consulting. I'm doing a variety of consulting things that I don't think the specifics matter here. But it's working. And it means we're almost at the point where I can start putting more money back in. And that'll help. And that will allow the company to continue growing and, and really accelerate the growth. But not at the rate that it deserves. When I started Whistlekick, it was with this idea that we could do things different and better. And I think we've proven that. The products that we've put out have, for the most part, been great. And people like them. And the reviews from our Amazon listings show that. If you take a look at the content we've put out, I mean, this show is routinely in the top tier of any list on martial arts podcasts. Some lists have even been gracious enough to say that we are the top martial arts podcast, which is incredibly humbling and, and continues to blow my mind. We're knocking on episode 500. It's coming up soon. And there are even more people that I want to talk to. Two people that I wanted to have on the show just passed away. And every time we lose someone in the martial arts community, I'm, I, f I, feel, I feel like we were too late. We didn't get to capture that story. And that's a big part of what I want to do with martial arts radio in this show. I think if you take a look at what we've done and what we are doing, the mission speaks for itself. The goal here is to educate, entertain, and inspire traditional martial artists throughout the world. The Whistlekick brand stands for something. And I've been very protective of compromising that. We get requests all the time for things that compromise or would compromise what we do and what we stand for. And I, I say no. Uh, some of those things would have made us more money. And it's not strictly on principle. It's because long term, I believe if we don't hold to our values, the company can't grow as much. And it won't have the impact that it could. So what am I looking for? If I could design the perfect person I'm looking for, it would be a martial artist who loves martial arts. It would be someone out of this community who has been along for the ride for the last few years and sees what we're doing and believes in it. It would be someone who is, I'll just say it, independently wealthy, has a bunch of money, doesn't need to make a return on their investment right away. They can afford to cover their own expenses. And they have a significant amount of funds to put into this company. We don't need $10,000. We need hundreds of thousands of dollars. It doesn't have to come from one person, but it would be easiest. I don't need three hours a week of help or five hours a week of help. I need multiple full-time people. And with a bunch of money, we can buy more product and hire more people and grow this thing in the way that it deserves to be grown. This is a point where I'm I'm a bit emotional. If it were not video, I would press pause and work through this stuff and come back. But I, I don't get to do that in video. This is one of the challenges of video. If you're listening in audio, know that uh, you're along for the ride with one continuous take. I vowed I wasn't going to do this in multiple takes. <sighs> okay, take a breath, Jeremy. This community has blown me away with its openness and its support and willingness to help. This is worth trying. You may not be the person to help, but you might know the person to help. I don't want to sell the company, but I will be very direct in that Whistlekick and Whistlekick's growth and the goals of Whistlekick are a higher priority to me than my own personal ego, which should not surprise any of you.
if the right person came along and they had a great team behind them and they had the funds, yes, I would ad absolutely sell this company. I would hope I would get to stay on. I would hope that I would get to continue to be involved because there are so many things that I, I want to do within Whistlekick to help the world. Whistlekick is my opportunity to have an impact on the world. We, we all have this chance to leave a mark. I don't think I have the chance to leave a bigger mark than by growing, expanding the reach of martial arts and helping martial artists like I do with Whistlekick. So if you check any of the boxes that seem to make sense, if you have a lot of time and or money or know people that do so that we can help this, I'd like to talk to you. If you want to get a hold of me the easiest way, Jeremy at whistlekick.com. I read every email that comes in, assuming spam filters don't get it, which happens sometimes. And I hope that we can do something. I am plagued by ideas on a daily basis of wonderful and amazing things that we could do if we reach the next level. Let me rephrase that. When we reach the next level. Because I'm not quitting. I'm not giving up. I have put every dollar I have into this company. I will continue to put every dollar I can find into this company. And I work from, well, about 6.15 every morning, prepping for first cup. I do first cup. And I work until my brain is not effective anymore every day. And that's when I usually go to the gym or train or something. Thank you for listening and or watching. Feel free to share this with someone if you think that they might check some of these boxes. And if you're not able to, if you don't know anybody, if you don't have any time or money, thanks for watching and listening and your support. I am struck every week by the impact that what we do here at Whistlekick has on the traditional martial arts community. It means that we're doing some stuff right. So thank you for that support because without it, I would have fallen over and crawled into a hole and given up years ago. This is big stuff we're working on, but we're making a difference. And I don't just mean we as in the staff at Whistlekick. I mean we as in all of you who have contributed in whatever way you have. Thank you for your time. And uh, there will be a more standard episode coming to you next. Take care. Peace.